Welcome to the retail quick start guide for the machines that we've been selling recently. Sold over 300 of these units, very hard wearing. Um, everything you get in the box when it's delivered, you've got a printer lead that goes into COM port one, you've got your power lead that goes into the back right hand side. On the back of the receipt printer, you have the cash draw port and obviously the power lead and the port for the receipt lead. When you turn your printer on, you can hold the feed button whilst switching it on, and it'll actually give you a test print here. So what we'll actually have on here is a useful bit of information, which is called board rate. So this board rate is 9600. So to make sure that my printer is set up correctly for this, I basically log into the till by pressing programming, Use the operator ID as number one, and we can scroll down to, let's go back, I was just checking for you. Number three, all programming. Number two, system programming. And we have something here called IO parameters. Now for this particular printer, and actually for a lot of different printers that you get, you can actually use the Epson TMT88 option. And the board right here is 9600, and this is all configured to serial port number one, which is the very first one as you go in here. Okay, so let's just look at device connection, which is number 11. So in here it says, where is my receipt printer connected to? So it's to this tail, and it's on COM1. And it also asks about the, the report printer, which is also my device, and also on COM1. So now we've successfully set up the printer. If you wanted to test the printer, we could do something like an end of day, like an X report. And this will print off for you. So you know it's working now, so there's nothing to worry about there. So back to our home screen. The next thing that we can actually add, if this is a retail machine from us, is a barcode scanner. So I'm just using this one for your demonstration. Um, I do like the square or orbit, orbit uh, style scanners. They fire more lines at the product when they're scanning. This is more like a one line scan. So we plug the scanner in. It has to be USB for this. 